question is, how does identity theft happen? It happens in two basic ways. There's some huge data breach. There's some criminal who's gotten a hold of your information, someone you don't even know. Other times it happens when it's someone you know, someone you have as an employee, a coworker, uh, someone who has access to your house, uh, like a babysitter or a cleaning lady. It can be any number of things that happen. It can be someone you know, someone you don't know. Just because it's someone you know doesn't mean you don't have rights. You did not give the right for your identity to be stolen by the cleaning lady. You did not give the right for your identity to be stolen by a babysitter or by a, someone who works in a doctor's office. You did not give that permission. The credit reporting companies, the creditors cannot come to you and say, sorry, this is all your fault. You have the right to step up and say, hey, I'm a victim here. How dare you let them open an account in my name? How dare you let them ruin my life? Why didn't you ask for proof? Why didn't you make sure that this person was actually, was actually me and not someone stealing my identity? They're supposed to have safeguards in place. They don't have safeguards in place. You dispute it. You dispute it with the credit reporting agencies. You dispute it with the credit card company that let the account be used. You dispute it with whatever company allowed an account to be opened in your name whether it's a cell phone company, a credit card company, a bank, a, a car dealership, a home, own, home mortgage place. It's not your fault that someone used your trust and stole your identity. It's not your fault that the bank had a huge data breach and allowed your information to be stolen and someone opened up an account who's based out in the Ukraine. You gotta take control of your life. You've gotta get your disputes out there. And you're probably going to need the help of a lawyer. You can try and do it yourself. There are people who've done it themselves, but it's a difficult field to navigate. Identity theft. Sometimes it's an intentional act. Sometimes it's an actual criminal who opens up your account or gets a hold of your credit card numbers or your PIN numbers and does things like puts credit card charges on your credit cards, opens credit card accounts in your name, buys a car in your name, uh, takes out a mortgage in your name, buys a house in your name. Sometimes it's these actual intentional acts by criminals, but they shouldn't be on your credit report. They shouldn't be ruining your life. Once upon a time, bankruptcy lawyers said, oh, declare bankruptcy. No, do not declare bankruptcy. This is someone else's problem. This is a problem that criminals are making into your problem and you have to fight back. You have to dispute with the credit reporting agencies. Show them yeah, make, that, make that report with the police. Show the credit reporting agencies that these are not your obligations. Fight back. Don't just buckle down and say, oh gosh, I'm, I guess I'm stuck with what this criminal did. Fight back. Other things where you can expect problems. If you've got a name similar to someone else or a very common name, for instance, if you're John Smith Jr. and your dad is John Smith Sr., if your dad has bad credit, you've got a problem. If your son has bad credit, you've got a problem. Pull up your credit reports. Annualcreditreport.com, pull up your free annual credit reports. That's the only site you should be getting them from. And get those credit reports, bring them in. Let's talk about them, let's look them over. Let's see what charges aren't yours. Let's see what problems they are. My name's Brian Bromberg. I've been a lawyer for more than 25 years. I've been doing consumer litigation for more than 15 years. I've had my own practice for more than 15 years. You want someone with experience. You want to call me up, set up an appointment, come on in. Let's talk. Let's see what we can do together to help you out and to move you from being a victim to being a victor. Mm -hmm.